Something else was happening at Lincoln Labs in 1962, and that was the invention of computer graphics. Ivan Sutherland's Sketchpad, probably the most significant single thesis ever done, remarkable program in many ways even today, as we'll see by looking at this tape. This tape is from the very first movie very first movie of uh, Sketchpad taken in the summer of 1962. So this is 25 years old. Rubber bands you're familiar with, but look at what he's doing. He's pointing at the edges and saying, I want them to be all mutually perpendicular, and Sketchpad just figured out how to do that. Sketchpad is the first system to ever have a window. He's actually drawing on a virtual sheet of paper about a third of a mile on a side. And again, to get something he wants, he simply sketches it in roughly and then gives rules like be parallel and perpendicular, and Sketchpad figures out and solves the problem. Here the rule is collinearity, so that the dashes lie directly over the guidelines below. And Sketchpad was able to solve very complicated problems in real time uh, involving uh, both linear and nonlinear uh, systems of constraints. So it was the first non-procedural programming system and considerably more powerful than the spreadsheets of today. So he's made a hole in the flange, continuously zooms back. Now he wants to make a rivet, and again we see why it's called Sketchpad. He just draws a rough shape, uses the center of the crossbar there, as the center of the arc, and then points to the edges and says, I want these to be mutually perpendicular again. Solving that forces the crossbar to change, which forces the arc to change, which gives you a perfectly symmetrical rivet. And he shows that how, no matter how you distort it, when he turns the problem solver on, it will come up with a symmetrical solution. And he could have made it more complicated. He could have constrained the side lengths to be ratios of each other or tied to some other drawing in the, uh, in the environment. Now, another important idea seen here for practically the first time is that of master drawings and instances. He was working on a master drawing, and what he has here now is an instance of that. The instance can be rotated and scaled in position. So he's going to insert the rivet in the hole. By the way, the sketchpad was the first system in which it was definitely uh, discovered that the light pen is a very bad input device. So the blood runs out of your hand in about 20 seconds and leaves it numb. And in spite of that, it's been reinvented at least 90 times in the last uh, 25 years. Here's another instance of the rivet, another one. Now, the display is jumping around like that because this, they didn't even really have computer displays back then. The TX2 is putting up every uh, dot by brute force. He didn't like the cross pieces, so he goes to the master drawing, makes them transparent. Lo and behold, we see dynamically that the rivets, the instance rivets, have felt that change. So Sketchpad is also the first object-oriented software system. I once asked Ivan Sutherland, how could you possibly have done the first interactive graphics program, the first non-procedural programming language, the first uh, object-oriented software system all in one year. He said, well, I didn't know it was hard. There's nothing like this before. And here he's showing that every instance that you make of something, uh, every master can create instances. So he's making a bunch of copies of the hole in the, in the flange. I'd like to tell you where you could go to buy a system as good as Sketchpad, but I don't know where, because there isn't anything like it even on the market today 25 years later. It was a one-of-a-kind thing. It ran on a machine much larger than the studio that I'm uh, recording the talk on. In fact, it was the last computer large enough to have its own roof in the United States. 